Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we'll take a look at how to defeat Demon Liu Bei on Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Alright, so Liu Bei can be a bit of a tricky one. He is very, very fast. He does quite a lot of attacks in his combos and he also does high damage. However, he doesn't have the biggest health bar in the world and you can smash his spirit bar down quite fast. One of the main things that we're going to be doing in this fight is using a spell called Venomous Discharge. And what this does is when it makes contact with either the enemy or the floor, multiple pools of poison will explode and cover the floor. And then what we want to do is actually stay inside the pools of poison we can use this as a barrier against the lightning. So if these poison pools touch the orbs or touch the lightning, they will completely delete the lightning or completely delete the lightning orbs. So as long as you're stood inside this poison pool, then none of the lightning will be able to get you at all. Another tactic that you can do with this is actually cast Venomous Discharge at Liu Bei as he is rising up into the air to summon the lightning orbs. If you time it correctly, then the poison will explode as it hits Liu Bei, then the poison will spread out and hit the lightning orbs and completely delete them before they can even leave Liu Bei's side. So essentially one of the main things that we need to do here is just have a lot of poison all over the floor and stay in the poison pools as much as you can do. If Liu Bei is also standing in the poison then he will get poisoned and that will also be ticking his health down. So if possible try to have the damage over time poison on Liu Bei as much as you can and your poison doesn't damage you so you don't have to worry about that. On top of that we're also using life wither and if life wither is cast on the enemy then they basically just take more damage so also try to have life wither on him as much as possible as well and we're also using a spell called toxin weapon so whilst your weapon is buffed with the toxin this will also apply poison to him if you do get afflicted with the lightning debuff which is quite likely in this fight then you can actually use toxin weapon to take away the lightning debuff from you another spell that we're using is spirit fervor which basically just helps with our spirit regain a lot it is worth mentioning that you can actually deflect the lightning as well so if you do find yourself in a position where there's a load of lightning on the floor plus Liu Bei is also doing his crazy attacks towards you you can be a little bit spammy with your deflect button and for the most part it will likely deflect Liu Bei's attacks and the lightning don't forget that you can use the item anti-static needle to help defend against the lightning next we'll take a look at his melee attacks the best time to put your attacks in is usually when he's doing his overhead lightning sword slam it's quite common for him to do this after he's done a double spin to win attack. So he does an attack where he kind of spins around two times, try to deflect or block these the best that you can do. And then a lot of the times he'll go into his overhead slam double sword lightning attack. Whilst he's doing this, try to make your way to his side a little bit. And then what we use is a special attack that jabs four times in a row. And because his spirit bar gets destroyed quite fast, usually if you do the four jab special and then another four jab special, it will absolutely destroy his spirit bar. And you'll find that you'll be smashing through his spirit bar quite fast so use this opportunity to put in as much spirit damage as you possibly can do after he does the double spin to win he sometimes does a tail whip instead and you can't really punish the tail whip as much as the overhead lightning sword slam so just try to block or deflect the tail whip the best that you can he also does another combo where he does about five or six strikes in a row he usually ends this one with a forward jab thrust with his sword if you have a fast special attack then try to pop one in just as he finishes that sword thrust for this multi-attack combo i'd recommend just trying to block it because the timings on the deflects are all over the place. He also does a critical attack where he jumps up in the air and shoots three beams of energy towards you with his sword. If you deflect the first one, it will usually hit it back and then cancel out the second beam and then just be on the lookout for the third one and deflect that one back at him. As he falls down to the floor, if you're close enough, you can run on up and get a few attacks in. Another critical attack that he does is his tail swoop where he'll fly up in the sky and then swoop around and try and grab you with his tail. The timing on this deflect is slightly later than what you think it would be. If you find that you're smashing his spirit bar down as you're doing your special attacks, then another tactic that you could take in this fight is just to concentrate on getting the fatal strikes. Because if you keep life with it on most of the fight, then most of the time you can delete his entire health bar with about two fatal strikes. To make this happen, just try to keep poison on, try to keep life with it on, and try to use as many of your special attacks, forward slash your martial arts attacks, as you can do. Rinse and repeat these tactics and you'll have this fight in the bag in no time. This 
This is the equipment that we used for the fight. These are the two accessories that we used. These are the spells that we used. And these are my character stats. If you want to continue your video game training, then check out one of these videos right here. I've covered loads of games such as Elden Ring, Sekiro, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Neo 2, Ninja Gaiden, and loads more. Some videos have just popped up right now. Feel free to check them out and give them a click. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.